Now, out of all the Ridley variants out there, I think the one that had the biggest potential to be a huge threat to the galaxy could have been Mecha Ridley, the Ridley robot we see at the end of the Metroid Zero mission. You gotta admit, it was a pretty cool surprise learning that there's a mechanized version of Ridley out there with lasers and rockets and all that sort of stuff. But due to how little information we're given about this character in game, it's kinda caused a little bit of misconceptions and confusion. Who created Mecha Ridley? What was his purpose? Why does he look so much like Ridley? And is this possibly Ridley Reborn? For today's episode, so I'd like to basically explain Mecha Ridley, clear up some of the confusion, and overall talk about this cool metal dragon. So let's get started. Now thankfully, Mecha Ridley's origins isn't really too complicated. The creator of Mecha Ridley is Ridley. As destructive as Ridley is, it is only matched by his intelligence. Sure, it's not really shown off in game too well, but in the manga it shows that he is extremely brilliant. Now why did Ridley build Mecha Ridley and why did he design it to look like himself? Well to quote Yoshio Sakamoto, the co-creator of Metroid and the director of Zero Mission, Ridley made an image of himself to demonstrate his power by making that image as a powerful weapon. It's kind of a weird statement, but I guess it makes sense. If Ridley were to send over his giant mecha of himself to destroy a colony, a lot of people would associate that destruction with Ridley. He was the creator of the robot after all, and I'm pretty sure traumatized survivors would now fear the very image of Ridley, which is something I'm pretty sure he's gonna enjoy. Although sadly, Ridley never got a chance to finish his mechanical masterpiece. Visually, we see that the lower half of the robot is actually missing, and Sakamoto states that the robot was missing its walking unit and flying unit, meaning it was supposed to be much more mobile than how it is right now. At the same time, we aren't given given any information over when Ridley started building Mecha Ridley, as well as how long it took him to build what he's made. All we know is that by the time we reach Metroid Zero Mission, Ridley has completed at least half of the robot, as well as most of the robot's weapon systems, having lasers, rockets, fireballs, and striking attacks. Also a little bit of a fun fact, inside the data of Metroid Zero Mission, Mecha Ridley actually has a different type of attack where he pecks at Samus. I don't know if that's considered canon or not, but it's a cool piece of information I guess. Now a misconception I've seen every once in a while is the idea that Ridley was revived as Mecha Ridley after his defeat in Metroid Zero Mission. Either his soul was possessing the robot or he transferred his consciousness causing the robot to activate. Even the interviewer asking Sakamoto questions asked if maybe Zebes science was the cause of Ridley turning into Mecha Ridley. But we know that this isn't the case. We know for a fact that Ridley didn't die during Metroid Zero Mission. He was taken to the frigate Orpheon and rebuilt to become Meta Ridley. Your soul or consciousness can't really be transferred over to a robot if you're still alive somewhere else. So that idea really can't work at this point of the timeline. The robot more than likely activated because it was still connected to the ship, and probably sensed a completely different life form amongst all the Zabesians scurrying around the ship. So what happened to Mecha Ridley though? Near the ending of Zero Mission, after Sam sneaks her way through the mothership, Chozodia, and obtains a legendary power suit, she comes across a room containing Mecha Ridley and battles the Metal Dragon. After defeating the robot though, Mecha Ridley activates the ship's self-destruct sequence, probably as a last ditch attempt to kill off its target. Sam escapes, the ship blows up along with Mecha Ridley and thus destroying the robot, making this the one and only time we see this robot dragon officially. Although there is a pretty cool theory out there that Mecha Ridley kinda lives on as Meta Ridley. With how severe Ridley's injuries were after Zero Mission, it could be possible that the blueprints or some spare parts of Mecha Ridley were used to create Meta Ridley. Both Ridley and Mecha Ridley have similar attacks and similar weak points in the chest, and with how fast Ridley was revived, it would be possible that they use Mecha Ridley's parts as a base, since the cybernetic arms and metal plating were proportional to Ridley's body, it would make sense. But keep in mind though, that's just purely speculation and theory. There's no solid proof or evidence to really suggest that this is the case, just a cool little idea. Aside from that though, with Mecha Ridley's destruction at the end of Zero Mission, this marks the one and only time we see Mecha Ridley in-game, as he does not make any other appearances anywhere else in the franchise, as well as there being no indication or evidence to suggest that he's being rebuilt by anyone in the Space Part organization, which kinda sucks I guess. I would love to see like another interpretation or like an updated version of Mecha Ridley, see him with his completed form or some improvements from previous encounters. But I guess with Mecha Ridley only appearing at the end of Zero Mission, it only makes his inclusion that much more memorable and makes Zero mission that much more exciting to play through. But that's Mecha Ridley. 
Did you enjoy the video? Did you learn anything new about this mechanical dragon? And do you have any sort of suggestions for future videos describing lore in the Metroid series? I've talked about Proteus Ridley and Dark Samus in this series of videos, and I do plan on talking about other creatures and monsters like Mother Brain and Dark Samus, but if there's other smaller bosses or niche elements in the series you want to see explained, like Kirugiru, Quadraxis, Thargis, Botwoon, maybe races like the Luminoth, Chozos, Almix, Reptilicus, maybe even planets and locations like the BSL, the Bottleship, Talon 4, Aether, Eutragus, anything at all, feel free to tell me. And of course, if you want to see more Metroid lore explained, feel free to click on the video above. It's a playlist containing me explaining Proteus Ridley from Samus Returns and Metroid Prime from Metroid Prime. And with that being said, I'm the Metroid Trainer. Hope you like, favorite, subscribe, stick around for next time, because I'll be seeing you later.